Hey everyone, if you're coming across this video, you're probably knitting your own walk in the park socks. And this video is solely for me to show you how to knit this heel, which is a shadow wrap short row heel. There are a few videos online explaining how to do this heel, but I wanted to create my own so that I can link it in a pattern. I'm going to show you how to knit this heel on this version that I'm knitting right now. And to start off, let me just get this out of the way. To start off, you're going to knit your sock until your desired leg length and then you're going to divide your work into the front and back. Your front should start where your round starts, so this is the beginning of the round, so this is the front of the sock and you're going to divide your stitches by two to determine where the front ends and the back starts. So this is the front of the sock and this is the back. And this is where we're going to knit our heel. So first off, to set up our work, you're going to knit across the front until your marker, and then we're going to start knitting the heel at the back of the sock. So let me just do that. So I'm just going to knit until my marker, and you have to do this working in pattern. I like to knit my socks when I'm doing color work using short circulars, but when I get to the heel, I'm going to change into longer circulars and I'm going to knit using those. I'm just going to remove this marker because it will be at the end so it will keep falling off. Now I'm just going to move all of my stitches from the back se section into my other needles so that I can start working on the heel. So now that I've reached the end of the back, I'm going to remove the stitch marker and now we're going to ignore the back stitches and we're just going to work on this section. I'm just going to move my circular to this needle so that I can start working on the yarn that I have here. The first thing that we're going to do is knit all of the stitches on our back section until there's one stitch left. So let's do that and then I will explain to you what we're going to do next. Okay, so now we have reached the last stitch. I'm just going to zoom you in. Uh, let me just get his needle out of the way. And the same for this one. To do that, I'll just stick them inside the work. Yeah, like this. So now we have reached the last stitch. And now I'm just going to zoom you in so that you can see what I'm doing with this stitch. Now we have reached this last stitch and you're going to lift the stitch below on the right leg of the stitch and you're going to put it on your left needle. So this is the current stitch and I'm going to pick the one below and I'm going to put it on this needle. So just make sure that you're keeping both separate and you're going to knit through the front loop and knit one stitch. Then you're going to pass this stitch to your left needle and now you have a twin stitch. You can see that both stitches are coming from the stitch below. Now you are going to turn your work and you're now going to purl until there's just one stitch left.
Okay, now that we have one stitch left on our needle, we have to mimic the same that we did on the other side. So you're going to put your last stitch on your right needle and you're going to pick the left leg from the stitch below and place it on your right needle, but you're never going to remove this, the left needle. So basically you're in purling position you're going to purl and there will be two stitches coming out of the last stitch like on the other side but now you're just going to pick these two stitches and place them on your left needle and again turn your work so now we're just going to do the same when you're knitting on the right side you're going to do what we did on the last stitch and when you're in the purl side you're going to do what we did on this stitch i'm going to do it again so that you can get a better feel for it. So now you're going to knit until the one stitch before the last stitch that we've created a twin stitch. Okay, so this is the last stitch where you've created a twin stitch. And now we're going to knit until this stitch. So here. Okay, so we have knit until the last stitch and now you're going to do the same. There's the right leg on the stitch below your last stitch. So you're going to place it on your left needle. Keep them separate. So I like to hold on to the stitch and then you're going to knit through the front loop, creating another stitch. And now you're going to pass it to your left needle so that you have again a twin stitch coming out of the stitch below. Now you're going to turn your work and purl it all until the last stitch before the one you've created a twin stitch. Okay, now that we have reached the stitch before the last twin stitch we did, we are going to slide this last stitch to our right needle and then you're going to pick the left leg from the stitch below. From the stitch below, then you're going to place it on the right needle but nev never leaving the left needle. And now you're in purl position, you're going to purl and there will be two stitches coming from the stitch below. You're going to slide those to your left needle and turn your work. We're going to keep doing this until you have the number of twin stitches stated in the pattern. For reference, I like to divide the number of stitches at the back section of my work by three. So imagine if I had 30 stitches, I would create 10 twin stitches on this side, leaving 10 stitches in the middle and then 10 twin stitches on this side. So yeah, I'm just going to work the twin stitches until the number of stitches stated in the pattern for the size I'm knitting. And then I'll come back so that we can talk about the next step. Okay, so I've knit the amount of twin stitches that the pattern states and your last double stitch should be your, on your right needle when you're seeing the work from the right side. Now we're going to knit until here, we're going to create a triple stitch and then we're going to turn our work and you're going to keep doing that until you reach the last stitch which will create this shape. Let me just show you one another sock. So yeah, basically we have knit this section and now we need to knit this section. Okay, so now we're going to knit, including the first twin stitch, and then we'll stop there to work a triple stitch on this one. So let's knit. So now we are on the first double stitch, we're going to knit that one. And on this stitch we're going to do the same way I've been doing, so we're going to lift the right leg of the stitch below the one we're working. 
we're going to keep them separate by tugging on these two and we're going to knit through the front loop. Now we have a stitch and we're going to slide it onto our left needle and now we have a triple stitch as you can see. Now just like we did before I'm going to turn our work, we're going to purl the first twin stitch and then we'll work a triple stitch on the next one. Okay, so we've reached the first twin stitch and we're going to purl that one. And we're working, we're, and we're going to work a triple stitch on this one. So we're going to do the same again. We're going to slide the stitch to our right needle and then we're going to pick through the left loop of the stitch below. And we're going to slide it onto our right needle but leaving the left needle on and we're going to purl sorry and we're going to purl that stitch now we have three stitches on this stitch and we're going to slide it onto our left needle and we're going to do the same okay now that we are here you're going to need a triple stitch and create a triple stitch out of the, your last twin stitch so pick the stitch below knit through the front loop and then slide it onto your left needle then again you're going to need the triple stitch create a triple stitch out of the next one turn your work and keep doing the same back and forth until we reach our last stitch on each side and then I'll come back and show you what to do then. Okay, so I am on the right side and I've reached my final two stitches so I'm going to need the triple stitch and we're going to do the same to create a triple stitch out of the, the last one. So here we go and now we just turn our work leaving the stitch on our right needle and we're going to knit again until the end of our work Okay, so knit the last triple stitch and... Uh, I have no idea why, but I made the pearl triple stitch wrong here. I did it like you would on the knit side. So please just ignore it and pretend that I did it correctly. And for your sock, do it like I showed you on the pearl side. Thank you. <laughs> Create a triple stitch on the last one. And again, leaving it on your right needle. You are going to knit until the end, including the last triple stitch, and then you can keep working on the front and working in the round. You will notice that the strand that you will need to continue the pattern is on this side, so you have to cut the yarn and start over here. And just keep working in the round. I'm now knitting the last stitch, the last triple stitch, and now let me just take this out. And now I'm just going to slide these stitches over to this needle so that I can keep working in the round and continue knitting. So this is what your heel looks like. 
you can see it very well, but I will change the needles and show you the construction a little bit better. Okay, so here's what the heel looks like. I love how this one turns out because it looks It looks really neat and looks the same on both sides, so it's symmetrical. But yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful and now you can just keep knitting your foot and then you'll have a walk in the park sock of your own. Feel free to tag me on Instagram with the hashtag walk in the park socks or made with cool stitches. I would love to see how yours turned out. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.